Kayla, and today I am going to be making a video of my top 25 least favorite pocket back scents. I did a video before this one of my top 25 favorites, and now I'm going to be showing you my top 25 least favorites. Before I get started, I just wanted to say that for anyone who likes some of these scents that I happen to dislike, please do not get offended. As you all know, I love Bath & Body Works, and I love... Definitely the majority of their pocket bags. I mean, let's be real here. I have the most ridiculous sized pocket bag collection ever. So clearly I love Bath & Body Works and so many of their scents. However, these pocket bags that are featured in this video, I just don't really care for. So if you like any of these scents that I happen to dislike, it's no big deal. This is just my opinion. So starting off with my 25th least favorite pocket back, this is Bella Flora. This was from 2013, and this basically smells like a Febreze air freshener and flowers and grass. I mean, it's not, like, horrible, like, you smell it and you think you're gonna, like, throw up. It's just not a scent that I really care for very much. Next, I have number 24, Bonjour in Pink Bloom. This one was released in 2012, and there's just something about this one that I don't really like. Um, it smells to me like a cheap type of florally perfume for, like, little girls, maybe, and roses, honestly. I mean, I don't know. It's just not one of my favorites. For number 23, I have Dancing Waters, which was released in 2012. I really like the packaging, it looks really cool, um, but this is just not a scent that I care for very much. It kind of just smells like air fresheners and dish soap um, and maybe like laundry detergent or something. I'm just not really into the like fresh florally type scents and this doesn't really smell very florally. It's just, it's an okay one. It's for number 22, I have Rainforest Sugarcane, which was released in 2014, and this one smells a lot like the outdoors to me. It kind of smells like grass, leaves, and then also some citrus, so maybe like lemons and oranges as well. It's just not a very good combination for me, and it's not one that I really like wearing on my hands. Then, for number 21, I have Fresh Picked Heirloom Pear, and this was released in 2013. Um, I'm not a really big fan of the packaging. It just looks kind of bland and boring to me. And for the smell, I think it pretty much just smells like a really deep pear scent, if that makes any sense. Like a really strong pear scent along with a smell of alcohol. For number 20, I have Ocean Sunset. And this is from 2013. Um, I personally think that this just smells like perfume like florally perfume and also laundry detergent it's just not a smell that i really like for number 19 i have home run in green grass this was released in 2012 and honestly this just smells like lawn clippings but sweeter so as you could probably imagine it's not the most pleasant scent in the world for my 18th least favorite pocket back, I would have to choose Sugared Vanilla Wish, and this one was released in 2013. Um, this personally just smells way too strong and way too sweet to me, um, but the things I can smell are milk, vanilla, and brown sugar. And that might not sound horrible to you, but there's just something about it. It's way too strong and way too sweet, and I don't really enjoy this scent at all. For number 17, I have Japanese Cherry Blossom in the 2013-2014 packaging, and in all honesty, this smells like my Aunt Judy. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but to describe the scents better, this basically just smells like a super overpowering, florally, older lady scent, and when I smell this one, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, I can't even really describe it in any other way but that so I'm just I'm not a big fan of Japanese cherry blossom now for my 16th least favorite pocket back I have touchdown in citrus blitz this came out in 2012 and to me this smells like a mixture of cologne 
and lemon juice. So, I mean, they got the citrus thing down because you could smell like some type of lemony, citrusy type thing. But, I mean, cologne and lemon juice, they really, really, really don't mix. For number 15, I have Mistletoe Kiss. This one was released in 2011. And I think that this smells like a wreath, like a Christmas wreath or like evergreen trees along with cranberries. It also kind of smells like a dusty house to me. Like, that probably sounds so weird, but there's just something about this one. I can't put my finger on it. It just doesn't have a really pleasant smell to it. Next, I have New England Autumn Bouquet from 2013, and this would be my 14th least favorite pocket back. And this pretty much just smells like a whole bunch of flowers. And then on top of that, if someone were to spray those flowers, with a really outdated florally perfume. That's pretty much exactly what this smells like. For number 13, I have Berry Twinkle. This is from 2012, and don't let the cute packaging fool you. This smells so weird. It smells like honey, like legit honey, and blueberries, and like freezer burn. You can't really smell freezer burn, but it smells like old ice that was left in the freezer along with honey and blueberries. It's such a weird scent. I can't even describe it. It smells nothing like berries. I I really, really dislike this pocket back. Moving on, I have Shoot Fresh Field. This would be my 12th least favorite pocket back. And this one was out in 2012, by the way. Um, honestly, this smells like pears and garbage. Moving on to number 11, this is Jungle Camo. It was released in 2012 and this pretty much just smells like nature but sweeter. It smells like grass, leaves, like a head of lettuce, pretty much anything green you could find outside with a touch of sweetness. Like it smells like sweet grass pretty much and it's definitely not a very pleasant scent to wear on your hands. For number 10, I have Crisp Golden Pear that was released in 2013, and this smells like three different things to me. It smells like evergreen trees, rotten pears, and beer. Next, I have Polar Ops from 2012, and this is my ninth least favorite pocket back. Um, I know this one is technically, like, more for a guy, but I mean, it is a pocket back and it is in my collection and it is one of my least favorites, so I'm putting it in this video. Um, but this pretty much just smells like deodorant and cologne for men. It's just not a very flattering scent. For number eight, I have Ocean for Men. This was released in 2012 and this basically just smells like a big old man's cologne scent. It's just not a pleasant scent. Even for men, if you ask me, there's just something about it. It just, it does not smell very nice. And I know that this is technically for men, but I'm just not a fan of the scent even on a man. I don't like it at all. For number seven, I have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is the... 2014 one and personally to me I think that this smells nothing like pumpkins to me it smells like cologne with a tad bit of cinnamon it's just not a pleasant scent and that's really a shame because I thought that this one would smell really really good since it's called sweet cinnamon pumpkin and I like pumpkin scents but not this pumpkin scent because it doesn't smell like pumpkin at all for number six, I have Nor for Men. I believe that's how you pronounce this. It's either Noy or Nor, but I'm pretty sure it's Nor um, for Men. And this one was released just this year in 2015. And this one actually doesn't smell that horrible. It's just a man pocket back. And I mean, I guess it wasn't intended for me to buy since I am a female. But, um,. Since it is in my collection, I just don't really care for it. It's actually a pretty good man scent, though. For any men that are watching this video, I'd go for this one before Ocean for Men. Just saying. For number five, I have Lavender Blossom, which was released in 2014. And 
if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do not like lavender scents. And this one is just lavender on top of lavender on top of lavender. I think it's the strongest lavender scent that I own. And I just cannot stand lavender. I would rather put Ocean for Men on my hands before this one. It's just not a good smell for me. For number four, I have Mahogany Teak Wood, which was actually just released last year in 2014 around Christmas time. And this one shocked me with how horrible it was, to be honest. It smells like a really deep men's cologne scent. Honestly, they could just repackage this into a new pocket back for men because it is really, really bad. For number three, I have Sweet Orange Pumpkin, which was released in 2013. And this basically smells like a few different things. It smells like a tiny bit of pumpkin, a whole lot of cologne, um, butter, and a tiny little incy bit of cinnamon. It's just a very, very bizarre scent. And I don't think that it smells like pumpkins at all. For my second least favorite pocket back, I have Winter Citrus Wreath, which was released just last year in 2014. And this is a very weird scent. It smells like, oh my gosh, it smells like um, oranges, evergreen trees, pine cone sap, and a little bit of like cranberry sauce. It's just a really unpleasant scent and you really couldn't get me to wear this in my hands without getting sick. And now for my number one least favorite pocket back, I have A Walk in the Woods from 2014 and this has to be my ultimate least favorite. Um, it's just a really, really bad smelling pocket back. It's, to me, it smells like cologne, mud, and leaves combined. It's just one of the most, oh my gosh, it gives me a headache literally when I smell it, which is a big reason why I put it as my least favorite, because literally as soon as I smell it, I get an instant headache. It's just a horrible, horrible, horrible scent. So once again, these were my top 25 least favorite pocket back scents from Bath & Body Works. Um, if you guys would like to, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know if you agree with any of these pocket backs that I have for my least favorites. And also, let me know what some of your least favorite pocket backs are, because I would really like to hear. Alright, that's it for this video. Bye, everyone!